Welcome to Fantasy Films. My name is Kevin. 2021 is finally here. I hope your holidays were great. New movies coming out this year, some of which we were supposed to get last year, but of course with everything going on, it just didn't happen. Now I'm super excited to see these movies. Hopefully this year pans out a little bit better than last because we have a great lineup. Now, I have my own top 10 most anticipated list for 2021. But while I'm giving you my list of top 10, I want you to drop down in the comments your top two movies that you're most looking forward to down in the comments. Also, drop a like on the video for me and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So number 10 on my list is going to be Mission Impossible 7. The thing I like about the Mission Impossible series is the incredible action that's in the film from beginning to end. Tons of stunts, great CGI. So this action movie is my number 10. Number nine on my list is Godzilla vs. King Kong. I mean, this is a classic matchup. The King Kong movies were really good. I really enjoyed Skull Island. The Godzilla movies that have been coming out, really just action-packed. It kind of grabs the old classic Godzilla and puts a modern twist to it, so it's not super far off of the uh, the original story or the original creature itself so finally i've been waiting years to see a new version of godzilla vs king kong i think we're finally going to get it this year i'm super excited about that one so that's my number nine number eight for me this is going to be a little bit of a weird one you may not have even heard about it it hasn't been getting a lot of press but thanks to my buddy chris over at 3c films buddy if you're listening Thanks for giving me this information. You got me excited about this one. Willy's Wonderland. This is going to be a lower budget film with Nicolas Cage. It's pretty much a knockoff of Five Nights at Freddy's. Nicolas Cage plays a janitor in an amusement park, but what he doesn't know is that at night the animatronics come to life and try to kill him. So this is going to be one of those slightly weird movies, but because it's weird, it's going to be fun. At least it's got characters in there like... Artie the Alligator, Gus the Gorilla. We have Willie the Weasel. He's the main character, the main animatronic. So it looks like it's going to be one of those goofy, fun movies that I'm going to really look forward to. Uh, it's probably going to be a guilty pleasure of mine. Number seven for me is going to be Morbius. Now, this one is a Marvel film. Jared Leto plays Michael Morbius, who's a scientist with a terminal blood disease that he tries to cure, but yet inadvertently turns himself into this vampire-like creature. We don't know how yet, but we know it's going to tie in with a lot of other Marvel films. This is a character that, honestly, I haven't been too familiar with up until recently when they said the movie was going to come out, and then I started doing more research on it. But it looks like a really good film. It really going to throw a different twist on the Marvel Universe, something I'm not really used to. Um, in the essence of, I don't want to say it's bringing a horror aspect to it, but with the vampire type creature, it's definitely bringing something different, which I think is going to be a good mix up. Number six for me is also another Marvel movie, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. Now, this is one that we know is going to tie in with Spider-Man 3. We're not sure how yet, but there has been a lot of hints and rumors that it's going to tie in. Now, that being said, I know the Venom movie, the first one, really wasn't a massive hit. And it had its flaws, but I still enjoyed it. And you got to look past some of these flaws. Enjoy a movie for what it is. Just a fun movie. That was what I thought about it. I like the Venom character. But the one character I like even more than Venom is Carnage. I love Carnage. Always has since I was a little kid. And we've gotten Easter eggs from the first Venom film that Carnage was going to be in it. Now we have confirmation in the title itself, Let There Be Carnage. So this one really excites me. Number five for me is Spider-Man 3. This one is going to probably be one of the most epic movies of the year. We're not only getting Tom Holland back as Spider-Man, but it's also said that we're getting Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Both their versions of Spider-Man will be in it as well as their villains all coming back, mashing up into what we're assuming is going to be a big Spider-Verse type movie. Tons of action. So many characters that it's making my head spin just thinking about it. So this is definitely going to be a movie that's going to tie in a lot of different other movies as well as setting up something really big in the MCU. Now, since I'm also a huge horror fan, this one fits the bill for me perfectly, and that is The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. 
Now this is based off a murder trial in 1981 in the state of Connecticut where Arnie Johnson is up on trial for murder. Now his defense is that he was possessed by the devil when he did it and obviously Ed and Lorraine Warren are there to investigate the case. We're going to get into what happened with him, the demonic possessions, who was the demon that possessed this guy. Hopefully it scares the complete wits out of us. I already have uh, goosebumps thinking about it, so this one excites me. Number three on my list is Maverick. That's right, the Top Gun sequel. Oh, this one brings back memories. I absolutely love Top Gun. Something about that original movie captivated me so much that I could literally watch that movie over and over and over and over again and not get tired of it. So when I heard that Maverick was coming out, which is going to be a second one where Tom Cruise comes back as a flight instructor who himself was surprised to get a call for the job, now has to train a whole new group of cadets for a whole new mission. So I think it goes without saying that I'm super excited about this one. I can't wait to see Maverick, which I know I'm always going to tell me to see by myself because she's not a Tom Cruise fan, doesn't like Top Gun, but that's all right. I'll forgive her for that one. I'm definitely going to see this. Now, number two on my list is another one of my favorite horror movies, and that is Halloween Kills. This one continues right where the last one left off, where Jamie Lee Curtis, a.k.a. Lori Strode, traps her brother Michael Myers in the basement of her house, which ends up being a giant booby trap to begin with, because everybody thinks she's nuts. Turns out she's not. Traps him in the basement, sets the whole place on fire, gets away thinks everything is over until here come the fire trucks and we all know they're going to put out the fire let michael myers out and that's where this movie picks up so laurie strode her daughter and her granddaughter now have to go and kill michael myers again thanks fire department for letting him out now for the number one movie on my list for 2021 i have been so excited for this one this is got to be the absolute most anticipated movie of all time for me, and that is Ghostbusters Afterlife. I grew up with the original Ghostbusters movie with Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, and I absolutely loved it. Obviously, it's a cult classic, and now we have what's going to be the next generation of Ghostbusters. This movie takes place years after the original. The Ghostbusters have retired, and a family moves onto this farm where they find a bunch of old Ghostbuster equipment, the ghost traps, the suits, and even Ecto-1. Paul Rudd also plays one of the school teachers for these kids who is a big Ghostbusters fan, come to find out. So when one of the kids brings the ghost trap to him, he kind of geeks out. He's like, oh man, this is a pretty cool replica. And come to find out, it's not a replica, it's the real thing. So I am super, super excited about Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is probably one of my most anticipated movies for 2021. So now I need you to let me know down in the comments below, what did you think of my list for the top 10 movies for 2021? Are any of those on your list of movies to see? If they are, drop them down in the comments below. Please drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the concession stands.